Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge A level Information Technology Paper 4 Advanced Practical for the year February March 2021. You have been supplied with the following source files. These are the files which we require for this task. I have all the files saved here. The first part of this paper, task 1 and task 2, which is graphics and animation has been already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Now I'm going to do task three, which is database forms. Create a database to store records of customers and any deliveries they may book in the future. Name the database delivery bookings followed by your center number and candidate number. The data for customers is contained in deliverycustomers.csv. So the data for the customers you can see is given already. So we have the data for customers shown here. So first we need to create a database. So open access. Click on blank database. First we need to save the database inside your folder. Inside examination folder. We have to save it with the name delivery bookings followed by your center number and candidate number. Your center number and candidate number. Save the database. Click on create. You can close the default table which is shown here. So first let us import the data for customers. For that go to external data, new data source, text file. Choose your folder. This is the file required. Delivery customers. Give OK. Click on next. First row contains field names. Just go through the data. You can see all these are text data. We have telephone number which has to be set as text and also CC type is text. CC expires is date. Click next. Choose the primary key. Since this is the table for customers, customer ID will be the primary key. Click on advanced and check the data type. All of them are text data. And CC expires is date. Give OK. Next. Let the name of the table be customers. Click on finish. So the data for the customers is ready. Now next one, customers may book more than one delivery. So we need a table for booking, which will have a one-to-many relationship with customer. The fields in the bookings table must include delivery ID, collection date, delivery date, weight, and charge. So we need to create a new table called booking. So we can go to create table design first field is delivery ID delivery ID let us set it as number next field is collection date collection date and collection date will be date and time. Now the next field is delivery date, weight and charge. 
Now delivery date is a calculated field because it's given. Delivery date will be always the day after the collection date unless the collection date is on a Saturday. In which case the delivery will be made on the next Monday. There will be no collections or deliveries on a Sunday. We have to calculate the delivery date in such a way that if it is a Saturday, the then it will be We have to calculate the delivery date in such a way that if the collection date is a Saturday, the delivery date will be Monday. That means we have to add 2 to the collection date to get the delivery date if it is a Saturday. Otherwise, we have to just add 1 because it will be the next day. There will be no collections or deliveries on a Sunday. So we need to give the condition for that or the calculation. So let us add a new field called delivery date. And its data type is determined by a calculated field. So we'll select calculated here. Now we have to enter the expression for calculating collection date. So we'll use an if function. If now there is a function called weekday which will find the day of the week or it will return the day number of the week. For example, if we give weekday of a particular date, if it is a Sunday, it will return 1. If it is a Monday, it will return 2 and so on. And if it is a Saturday, it will return 7. So Sunday is considered as the first day. So numbers from 1 to 7 are assigned. So we can type here weekday. So you can see weekday of collection date. Collection date equal to that means if it is a Saturday, then it is collection date plus 2 because it will be on Monday. So after Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we have to add 2 days. Otherwise, it will be on the next day. So collection date. This is similar to any function which we use in an Excel function, Excel formula. If this is the condition, this is the true value, and this is the false value. So weekday of collection date. Weekday will return the number of the day of that date. For example, if it is Saturday, it will return 7. If it is Monday, it will return 2. If it is Sunday, it will return 1. So from starting from Sunday, numbers 1 to 7 are assigned. Now let's give OK here. Now next field is the weight field, weight in kg. So you can see the field name is weight and in symbol brackets you have to give kg. So I will add a new field, weight. And weight will be a number format. So click on number. And in field size, you have to set it as double since weight can accept decimal values also. Double is used for decimal numbers. Next is charge, which will be calculated using these rules. Let's add the name charge and it is a calculated field and you can see the calculation rule here. It is based on the weight. The charge will be calculated based on the weight. The charge is calculated 
up to and including 1 kg the charge is 1.5 pounds over 1 kg and including 3 kg it is 2.5 pounds and over 3 kg it is 4 pounds so let us use these rules to calculate the charge so over 3 kg it is 4 pounds between 1 kg and 3 kg it is 2.5 and up to and including 1 it is 1.5 so it is a calculated field We will use any formula here. If weight, please note the field name, weight is given as weight and then in bracket kg. If weight is greater than 3, it is 4 pounds. So if it is greater than 3, is 4. Next again I will start with an if function. If weight is greater than 1 that is over 1 kg and up to 3. So already we have taken greater than 3 so we need to only check whether it's greater than 1. If it is greater than 1 and between 3 kg it is 2.5 next condition if so the last condition says if it is up to 1 kg it must be 1.5 up to 1 kg means whichever is greater than 0 because greater than 1 we have already taken here so all the values now will be left up to 1 kg so if weight is greater than 0 it must be 1.5 otherwise 0 otherwise means if the weight is equal to 0 or less than that if the user enters any value equal to 0 or less than that it will give 0 now we have used three if functions so we have to close three parentheses here because this is a nested if now give ok now once you give ok there is a problem here in the field name because the field name already contains a bracket for kg so the system does not accept that bracket and this is taken this kg is taken as a field name where our field name is completely weight and kg so that has to be removed so the square bracket for this kg has to be removed and it must be given for that complete field name which is weight kg so this way it has to be So remove the square bracket from here. This did not happen for the previous field delivery date because it does not have any brackets in the field name so it worked properly. Here this is happening because there is a bracket in the field name. So please make sure the parenthesis of if function is given properly and the weight kg field is enclosed completely inside the square bracket. So this is how the formula looks like. Now the result type will be currency because this is charge and decimal place you can set as 2 for currency. So this is the formula for charge. Now the table is ready.
deliveries weighing more than 5 kg are not accepted. So we need to give a validation. So go to weight. We have to give a validation here. Validation rule is it should be less than or equal to 5 and validation text is the error message that should be given if the weight is more than 5. So weight more than 5 kg will not be accepted. So this is the error message or the validation text which we have to this has to be given for the weight field. Validation rule is less than or equal to 5 and weight more than 5 kg will not be accepted is the error message. If the pound currency symbol is not available, use your local currency. So you can use any currency symbol if pound is not available. Create a form in which to enter a new booking. The form should look like this. So before making the form, we have to make sure a relationship is created. So in order to create a relationship, we need a field by which the table booking can be related with customers. So here they have told customers may book more than one delivery. So we can use the customer ID in the bookings table. So I will use customer ID here to show how many bookings each customer has made. And customer ID must be number because in the customers table also it is a number. So we can relate the bookings table with customers using customer ID. Now let us save this and close. I'll rename this table as bookings. So we have two tables here, bookings and customers. Now let us create the relationship between these two tables. For that database tools, relationships, add both the tables. We can create a relationship between customer ID and customer ID here. So the relationship is created. Save the relationship. Create a form in which to enter a new booking. The form should look like this. You can see the form. This contains the fields from booking table. So click on create form wizard. Choose the bookings table. We need delivery ID, customer ID, collection date, delivery date, weight and charge. So delivery ID, customer ID, Collection date, delivery date, weight and charge. Click next. It must be a columnar form. Next. What title do you want for your form? So the main title is Tavera UK. We can give that here. Click on finish. This is how the form looks like. Now we need to change the settings as asked in the question. You can see here the title. This main title is gray 40 point and the subtitle is red 24 point sans serif text on a yellow background. So let us set that first. Go to the design view.
this must be gray color forty point and as sensory phone I will set it as area. And now we need to add a label box for the subtitle. So click on label, draw a label box and type the text collection and delivery booking form. It must be red color aerial and the size is 20. You can see both of them are right aligned and the background is yellow. So let us set it as right aligned. and move the text box to the right side. Right click on this form header, go to fill color, it must be yellow. So that is set here. The user must be able to select the customer from a drop down list showing the customer details from delivery customers.csv. So when you click on the customer ID field, it must be a drop down list which shows the customer ID, given name, and surname from the customer's table. So for that, we have to add a drop down list or a combo box. So let us select this customer ID field. In order to add a drop down list, first I will delete this from the form. So I have selected the customer ID and I'll just press delete key on the keyboard. So it is removed now. Now let us add a combo box for the drop down list. So go to design. This is the combo box. You can draw a combo box here for the customer ID. So you will get this option. You have to give this option because we need to get the values from customers table. I want the combo box to get the values from another table. So since I want the name from customers table, I'll give this option. Click next, select customers, next. We need customer ID, given name and surname. So add customer ID, given name and surname. Next, what sort order do you want for the items in your list box? So it's written here, customer ID selection drop down records in alphabetical order of surname. So we have to sort according to surname. So click on surname, ascending. Click next. In the form, we have to show customer ID, given name and surname. Here, the customer ID is hidden because this option is selected. So you can remove this so that customer ID will be also shown here. Now click next and it must be based on customer ID. Click next and then
choose the customer ID here because this combo box is used for customer ID. Now click next and here the label for this combo box it is again customer ID so you have to set it as customer ID. Now click on finish. So this one this label box you can move here so that it is aligned. In order to move only this box you have to click on this gray pointer. Now this has to be little more wider because we need to show three fields at the same time. You can see the form view here now. Now if you click here, you can see the customer ID, the code name and the surname. So that is done. Next part, the collection date must be selected by a date picker. If a user selects a Sunday, a warning must be displayed. That means you can see collection date if you click here date picker will automatically be shown because we have already set it as date data type so we can select the date from here now if the user selects a sunday you have to show a warning there are no collections or deliveries on sundays again go to the design view so collection date must not be a Sunday. So select the collection date. Now on property sheet. Property sheet, if it's not visible, you can click here on design property sheet. It will be shown here. Now we have to set the validation view. So here again, we'll we use the weekday option. Weekday of collection date weekday of collection date must not be Sunday that means it must not be equal to 1 so this is how you have to give weekday of collection date must not be equal to 1 because 1 stands for Sunday. Validation text we have to give. There are no collections or deliveries on Sunday. So this is the validation rule and this is the validation text. Sundays. Let us check whether it's working. Choose a Sunday here. You can see once you choose Sunday, the error message is shown. There are no collections or deliveries on Sundays. So give OK. It will not let you choose a Sunday from the calendar. So that is done. For entries of weights more than 5 kg, a warning must be displayed. We have already given the warning. 
in the validation rule for the table. So that will be shown there. You can check that. If I give If I give a weight more than 5 kg, for example 6, you will get this error message. You have to give this correct error message as given in the question. So that will not be accepted. And now you can see how the date is calculated here. I had chosen Monday so the you can see the delivery date is the next day if it is a Saturday it should be the next Monday so if I choose 17 here it should be 19 and you click here you can see automatically it is calculated so that formula is also working fine now let us check whether the formula for charge is working in that if the weight is more than 0 that means up to 1 it should be 1.5 so I will give the weight as 0 0.5 so you can see it is calculated as 1.5 if it is more than 1 let us give 1.5 here it must be 2.5 according to the question. So you can see it is 2.5 and if it is above 4 it must be sorry if it is above 3 it must be 4 pounds so I will give 4 kg here so you can see automatically 4 pounds is calculated so that formula is working and if it is if the weight is 0 the charge must be 0 you can see it is 0 so that formula is also working. Now let us enter the data as given here to make sure it shows the same detail. So delivery ID must be 2. Customer ID is 105. When I enter 105, you can see the details are shown here. And then collection date is 13 March 2021. I'll give 13 March. It's a Saturday. You can see the delivery date is 15. And the weight is 0 kg. So it is calculated as 0 pounds. So this is the end of the database forms task of this paper. Next one, task 4 is the mail merge task which will be uploaded soon. Please keep watching. You can find all the links to other tasks in the description. Thank you for now.